YouTubers, Mike Martin's here, Mike Martin's channel. Thanks for joining me on another housing crisis segment. Brace yourself, investors. We're about to experience the steepest rate hike since 2006. The Wall Street economists are telling investors to prepare for the biggest tightening of monetary policy in more than a decade. Oh yeah, it's coming, people. The correction is coming. Wall Street economists are telling investors to brace for the biggest tightening of monetary policy in more than a decade. With the world economy heading into its strongest period since 2011, Citigroup Inc. and J.P. Morgan Chase and company predict the average interest rate across advanced economies will climb at least 1% in the next year. That would be the largest increase since 2006. As for quantitative easing, that marks the 10th anniversary in the U.S. next year. Bloomberg Economics predicts the asset purchases by the main central banks will fall monthly in the U.S. by $18 billion at the end of 2018 from $126 billion in September and turn negative during the first half of 2019. That reflects increasingly synchronized global expansion finally strong enough to spur inflation. Uh, be it mostly that uh, uh, the test for policymakers, including Income Federal Reserve Chair Jerome Powell, will be whether they can continue pulling back without derailing a demand for rock asset markets. So 2018, people, it's a really long article. I'll leave a link for this one. Holy smokes. What does it say here? What are economists saying? Many developed market, market central banks led by the Fed are entering a 2018, taking a leap of faith that inflation will return as they move towards normalizing monetary policy. Continued asset purchasing by the BOJ and ECB will buy some time for policymakers to discover the un unintended consequence of quantitative tightening without risk of severe market dis disruption. Nevertheless, too much normalization too fast? Yeah, I mean, God forbid we go back to normal where things, where rates are supposed to be the normal, everything's supposed to be going super cool. And and, and remember when bank accounts used to pay me, pay you on interest uh, on your account, you used to pay you an interest rate and you get a small return from your bank account. Yeah, that's what, those were the normal days. Risks rev um, reversing the relative upbeat global economic outlook in 2018, especially if central bankers' assumptions on the field curve proved to be false. So there's more here. So I want you guys to read this. We see 2018 as a pretty key year for normalization, said Victoria Clark, an economist and an what is it? Investic in London. It's going to be quite challenging for central banks to get the balance right on how much to do. So you're going to start seeing a thing going back and forth here for them to tweak the market till they can get it back to normal standards and putting interest rates back to four to four four point five to five percent in a normal market. So if you are on a what you might call it a variable rate mortgage, I'm not a, um, a specialist or I'm not a banker or which you might call it, I'm nothing. But I'm telling you to really look at doing something closed, a closed end mortgage and switch from a variable rate mortgage. That's the only way I see you know, protect, some sort of protection if you have a lot of, uh, if you have a high risk mortgage. So comment below, let me know what you guys think. I'm just, you know, bringing this out there and letting you guys know what's going on. And ex ex yeah, uh, we're not raising uh, rates here in Canada lately. We did we did at the beginning of the year, but now things are kind of turning a bit. So let's see what happens uh, south of the border from Canada. Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button.